my recollection of the, the genesis of, of the Jacuzzi Boys Athletic Club uh, goes back to fall slash winter of uh, 2013. The USATF Cross Country like Club Nationals was being hosted in Bend, Oregon. So we put together an alumni group of like former Portland cross country athletes. Everyone was in sort of different levels of fitness. I think Brooks Broom had to walk at certain points in the race. A guy like Scott Fobble, who most running fans are going to be familiar with, uh, is coming off of like an All-American season. Um, a guy like me has been out of the team for a few years. And I'm, I'm sure we got smoked at club nationals, but that that was kind of the the kind of the beginning of like we're in our early to mid twenties and maybe we don't want to stop running and uh, we're kind of having fun uh, training and and partying together. But but there was like enough excitement uh, sitting in the jacuzzi during like the bend trip that like that that was like the real incorporation of the club. We're starting to gain momentum from like from an aspect of having a kind of a deep roster um, and and that meant being able to put together a Hunted Coast team. I do think yeah Hunted Coast was probably one of the first indications that this was more than just like a, a bit that this could actually be something of a cohesive social group and running organization. And yeah that's like one of the first times that the Jacuzzi Boys is kind of like making a transition from UP alumni into like Jacuzzi Boys. My role in JBAC history, I was a friend of, I, I would say the founding crew, and I was a photographer for the 2014 Jacuzzi Boys Hood to Coast Adventure Extravaganza race. So I became the van driver, um, and like honestly, a pretty good role for me to be sort of like a team cheerleader. I mean, what a crew of characters those guys were, my goodness. Yeah, so Scott sort of like, yeah, it's like kind of a joke, but also kind of not. We want to try to win this thing. Um, I think he sort of over-indexed how fit I was at that point. And that's like kind of when we started to realize that it's a special race um, for us and definitely ignited a multi-year battle with uh, Barma Track Club. We ultimately did not win with the coast. We got second and everyone was really sour about it. And it was fun. I mean, that was like definitely a, a fun event, but one of the big like JBAC ones. We even got conspiratorial and thought maybe the first place team had like cheated somehow. We, we were, we handled it poorly, but I think it was the the, the makings of something special. So the, the, the prototypical JBACker, that's a good question. I don't know that there is one. I think it was just so much fun for all the guys early that people wanted to be a part of things that are fun. Whatever you want out of it, the JBAC can can give you. If you want a serious mile training partner or a marathon training partner, that's there. A lot of people were missing the camaraderie of doing a workout and then grabbing a beer or doing a run and then grabbing a beer. If you want to come out once a week and run an hour from a coffee shop and get coffee and and donuts after then that's that's an option too the same amount of serious about running but also like not weird about it like none of us are professionals except for scott fobble of course that idea balanced with the fact that they also liked playing beer pong with their team buddies uh and getting hammered in a jacuzzi instead of like being focused on being the best like club of nationals numbers wise we're at like maybe 130 people ish i didn't didn't expect it to grow to the extent that it has, uh, which uh, which is pretty exciting. It's, it's living and breathing and no longer really under anyone's control at this point, so. A hundred years from now, the JBAC will exist pretty much unchanged from its present form, uh, but it'll all be on the metaverse. Probably, I mean, they're probably in the White House in a hundred years. But there'll be some sort of like, Siri version of Scott that's like, would you like to order some new JBAC stickers? A hundred years from now, it's still as unserious as adult cross country or like adult track and field sounds. Yeah, it's the only path forward, I think. It's not Democrat, it's not Republican, it's JBAC. Yeah, everyone just has an avatar and I don't think that 
that, that I will have figured out how to give people like a working appendages yet. So you'll just be like a little floating orb. Um, but that's, that's how it'll be. One memory that, that sticks out to me is like significant is the first year uh, we had a holiday party. And uh, it's kind of, I know it's kind of dumb and not really like an actual achievement. It's just people coming together and hanging out and some people drinking and, you know, being married with each other. But that was kind of the first time for me seeing one of the first times like, oh, this is like people are having fun together and this was like partially my idea and that you know was cool and like, you can tell i'm getting old because like everything's just based around like friendship and like um, having a nice time